vast and fascinating world of history, there are some individuals who were so incredibly rich and influential that their stories should be known by everyone. One such person is Mansa Musa, a man often called the richest person ever. Surprisingly, not many people know about him, despite his immense wealth and the incredible impact he had on the world. Mansa Musa's life is like an exciting adventure through time, full of stories about his wealth and generosity. In this video, we are going to uncover the hidden story of Mansa Musa, the king from Africa, who became incredibly rich. We'll look at how he got so rich, what he did when he was in charge, his amazing journey to a holy city, and why he's not as famous as you might expect. So, come join us here at Wisdom Will as we explore the intriguing life of Mansa Musa, the wealthiest person in history. Chapter 1. Who's Counting Money? Money, wealth, and power have always been subjects of fascination for people throughout history. From kings and emperors to modern-day billionaires, the allure of immense riches captivates the human imagination. However, in the annals of history, one name stands out as the epitome of opulence, Mansa Musa, the man often regarded as the richest person to have ever lived. This video takes you on a journey through time to uncover the untold story of Mansa Musa, the African king who amassed a fortune that boggles the mind. Mansa Musa, whose name means Emperor Musa, was the ruler of the Mali Empire, a powerful and prosperous West African kingdom that thrived during the 14th century. His wealth was so immense that it's challenging to comprehend, making him a figure of intrigue and mystery. But how did this man acquire his wealth? What did he do with it, and why isn't he as well known as some other historical figures? To unravel the story of Manza Musa, we must begin with the foundations of his empire and the circumstances that allowed him to amass a legendary fortune. Chapter 2 All That Just Fell Into His Lap One Day To understand how Manza Musa became the richest man in history, we need to delve into the circumstances surrounding his rise to power and wealth. The Mali Empire, which emerged in the 13th century, was a vast, prosperous kingdom that stretched across West Africa, encompassing regions that are part of present-day Mali, Senegal, Guinea, Niger, and more. The empire's wealth was rooted in its control of lucrative trans-Saharan trade routes, especially the trade of gold and salt. Gold, known as the Metal of the Gods, was abundant in West Africa, and the Mali Empire was one of the major sources of this precious metal. The empire's wealth was further amplified by the strategic control of salt mines, an essential commodity for preserving food in the arid Saharan regions. As a result, Mansa Musa inherited an empire that was already a treasure trove, teeming with vast reserves of gold, salt, and other valuable resources. Mansa Musa ascended to the throne in 1312, after the death of his predecessor, Abu Bakr II. With his newfound power, he gained control of a kingdom that was already incredibly wealthy, making him an immensely rich man by default. However, it was his actions during his reign that would transform him into a legendary figure. Chapter 3. Mansa Musa's Rule Mansa Musa's rule was characterized by both administrative brilliance and an unyielding commitment to enhancing the prosperity of his kingdom. During his reign, which lasted from 1312 to 1337, he instituted policies that not only maintained Mali's economic dominance, but also expanded its influence. One of the key factors behind Mali's wealth was its efficient taxation system. Musa continued to collect taxes on salt and gold, which further swelled the empire's coffers. His meticulous management of resources, along with the exploitation of Mali's gold reserves, ensured a steady influx of wealth into the empire. Trade relations with North African and European powers were also vital, and Mansa Musa facilitated these connections by making Mali a hub for international commerce. Additionally, Musa encouraged learning and education, particularly Islam, which had been gaining prominence in the region. He sponsored scholars and built mosques, further solidifying his rule and the spread of Islam in his kingdom. 
His strong patronage of the arts and culture enhanced Mali's reputation as a center of scholarship and wealth. Just a little reminder that if you enjoyed the video, please click the like button and subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on. We're almost finished, so keep watching. Let's return to the video now. Chapter 4. The Most Generous Pilgrimage Perhaps the most famous event of Mansa Musa's reign was his legendary pilgrimage to Mecca, which would forever etch his name in the annals of history. In 1324, Mansa Musa embarked on a pilgrimage to the holy city of Mecca, a journey known as the Hajj. What set his pilgrimage apart from others was not just his devotion, but the incredible scale of his entourage and the unprecedented display of wealth. Mansa Musa's caravan consisted of tens of thousands of people, including soldiers, officials, scholars, merchants, and a vast number of servants. But it was his ostentatious display of riches that truly left a mark. The caravan was laden with tons of gold, carried by a procession of camels. Mansa Musa himself was said to have been adorned in exquisite clothing and carried a golden staff, all while tossing gold dust to the crowds that gathered along the way. His extravagant generosity during the pilgrimage was documented by many who witnessed it, including North African chroniclers. Musa distributed gold to the poor and built mosques and schools wherever he stopped, leaving a trail of prosperity in his wake. It is this pilgrimage that earned him the reputation of the King of Kings and firmly established his status as the richest person in history. Chapter 5 How Else Did He Spend His Money? While Mansa Musa is most renowned for his pilgrimage to Mecca, his generosity extended far beyond this single event. He was a prolific builder and patron of the arts, supporting the construction of mosques, libraries, and centers of learning throughout his empire. The most famous of these is the Jingwereber Mosque in Timbuktu, which stands as a testament to his commitment to Islamic architecture and scholarship. Mansa Musa's philanthropy also extended to scholarship and education. He attracted scholars from across the Islamic world, who contributed to the intellectual vibrancy of his kingdom. The University of San Kore in Timbuktu, one of the most prominent centers of learning in the Islamic world at the time, was heavily patronized by Musa. This institution attracted scholars, students, and traders from distant lands, contributing to the exchange of knowledge and ideas. In addition to promoting education, Musa also invested in the arts, fostering a rich cultural environment. The arts and literature flourished in Mali during his reign, and epic tales of his pilgrimage and the wealth of the Mali Empire spread throughout the known world. Chapter 6 Why Does No One Know Him? Despite his incredible wealth, generosity, and contributions to the fields of governance, education, and culture, Mansa Musa remains a relatively obscure figure in mainstream historical narratives. The question arises, why does no one know him? One plausible explanation is the lack of comprehensive historical records from the 14th century. Many accounts of Mansa Musa's life and reign have been lost to time, and the surviving records are often fragmentary and scattered. This limited historical documentation makes it difficult for modern historians to construct a complete and accurate picture of his life and achievements. Another reason for Mansa Musa's relative obscurity may be the Eurocentric bias that has historically dominated the way we learn and teach history. Yet, despite these achievements, Mansa Musa's name remains relatively unknown to many a testament to the complexities of historical narratives and the biases that have shaped them. As we continue to explore and expand our understanding of history, it is essential that we shine a light on figures like Mansa Musa and the rich tapestry of African history that deserves its place in the global narrative. And there you have it. Please share any advice, good stories, or inquiries you may have regarding this video in the comments section below. Give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel Wisdom Will if you enjoyed this one. Moreover, make sure to enable the notification bell to receive updates on our newest videos. So, if you want to become more financially literate and learn more about money, subscribe for weekly videos. I'm Wisdom Will. Thanks for watching this video and see you again next time. Have a great day.